from the bottom of our heart. We feel your pain. We walk with you. Like I said before, it's just a small percentage of people that see things different. And the reason why they see things different is because they are broken. When you're dealing with broken people, you deal with broken situations. And this is what has happened to this nation. This nation has fallen under the lawlessness and the brokenness of who we are. And the reason why is because this nation has turned its back on the biblical principles. And when you turn your back on the biblical principles, sin has a way of running wild like it is today in this nation. And the reason why I can stand in front of you and say that because I know what it's like to be broken. I know my life was broken just because I put on the uniform didn't make me well. Putting on the baseball uniform just made me a baseball player. You know, my mother prayed for me that I would find salvation. My mother never cared about my Major League Baseball career. All she ever cared about was me finding salvation. And she would pass away at the age of 55 from terminal breast cancer. And I stand here today because of my mother's prayers. She prayed for me. She prayed that God would knock me off my throne and save me. And God did exactly what my mother prayed for. <laughs> the incredible thing is about a mother being able to pray for her child to be able to see what's really important, what really matters. You know, most people thought it was about the career, the trophies, achieving all these great things, but my mom was more concerned that I would really truly find my way and become the man that God had created me to be. And I think at the end of the day, that's really what this life is all about. It's about who are we, not what we do. I can sit here and tell you for the men and women that wear the blues, it's not a job what you guys do. It's a calling what you guys do. You have been called from, from a greater place to do greater things and to imagine that your life and what you have to deal with on the day-to-day, -day, the stress and waking up and dealing with the streets and the, the crime and the criminals is, is far greater than anything that I could ever imagine. But I do know one thing, that the uniform that you put on, the uniform I put on, don't define who I am as a man. It goes a lot deeper and far greater than that. And I can say that because of who I am today. Of course, I'm a traveling evangelist and I preach the gospel. Who would have thought, you know, Daryl Strawberry Lost Broken would be a man of faith preaching the gospel? And I can tell you, I remember all my teammates, a lot of them, they were saying a little over 19 years ago, let's see how long this will last. Well, I'm still here and I'm still preaching the gospel. <laughs> trying to say that at the end of the day, at the end of all our lives, Christ has the last say.